and we're sending the no shirt, no shoe rule in Congress. That's <laughs> what you're gonna get next. But, but this week, oh my God. Did you watch TV this week? All Pope, all the time. Pope, 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 Pope. I get it, the Pope is here. He's doing poping stuff. Um, we can talk a lot about science. You've heard a lot about that. We can talk a lot about economics. And these days, all you hear is economics. But I think the, the, the part of the debate that we have not heard enough about is the moral and ethical part. You know, what is, the, what is our responsibility here? What is, what is right and what is wrong? Because I think in the end, uh, economic arguments while powerful, um, aren't as strong as arguments about what's right. Any change of climate is going to put stresses on a national, international community and tend to give rise to misunderstandings of geopolitical kinds and others. And it's, it's a uh, destabilizing factor in the world. That's what worries me about the carbon dioxide issue. Countries are being overrun by migrants, mostly Muslims. I'm putting the people on notice that are coming here from Syria as part of this mass migration. That if I win, if I win, they're going back. They're going back. I'm telling you, they're going back. Exxon Mobil, the largest of these companies, knew all the facts thoroughly as far back as 1977 and chose to put out false information or to support those who put out false information. Okay. It really is the temperature that, that is uh, helping to make this drought so severe. This drought has set a number of records. Uh, along the way over at different times of the of the last four years. California has approximately one year of water remaining in reservoir storage. I don't think we can start right away with the science. I think we have to start with the values. There's just a fundamental issue of morality that, that we were given this planet in a certain form and I think it's our responsibility to leave options open for future generations. It seems clear to me also that climate change is a problem we can no longer be left to a future generation. Conservatives do not like this and do not like him. The three Catholics on the Supreme Court no-shows at his speech before Congress. But it's clear that the Vatican has been completely taken over. It's completely run by Marxists now. This is the biggest instance of I'm going to advocate for traditional Catholicism. But America is not a planet. And we are, we are not even the largest carbon producer anymore. China is. And they're drilling a hole and digging anywhere in the world that they can get a hold of. China is set to announce a national carbon cap and trade system due to start in 2017. The plan would make China the world's largest carbon emissions market. What's the big deal about flowing water on Mars? Look at the temperature data that has been reported by NASA, has been made up, it's fraudulent for however, however many years. There isn't any warming, there hasn't been for 18 and a half years. And yet they're lying about it. They're just making up the amount of ice at the North and South Poles, they're making up the temperatures, they're lying and making up false charts and so forth. So what's to stop them from making up something that happened on Mars? You will struggle now to find climate deniers inside the oil industry. It's just become unacceptable. We recognise climate change. The next thing is we accept the fact the majority causes man-made, a large part of it down to fossil fuels. There has to be a solution. And what that implies is the need for an energy transition.